Okay, I've had quite a few owners asking me for a demonstration of how to use the portal, so I'll record this quick demonstration video. There are actually two different portals available now, so this is the old version. I'm going to run you through that real quick, and then I'll switch over to the new version and show you that. So on the, uh, the old portal, when you first log in, this is what you'll see. You can set your photo. Uh, any messages that I'm giving out to the community, which frankly we don't use that. Uh, any alerts, in this case there are six unpaid bills. And then contact information. And you can see this is my personal portal, so that I'm not sharing any other owner's information. Uh, so this is just an overview, and then if I had a conversation uh, there would be a record of that here as well. Any messages we post back and forth through the system would be detailed here. Under the statements page, you can see all of your owner statements. And they are sorted by date. Uh, this is particularly important to pay attention because an annual report, you can see here, January 1st through December 31st of 2017, is in kind of a weird spot. Uh, here you can see January 1st through December 31st, 2018. So when you're looking for these, uh, you may need to uh, scroll down to find them. Uh, you could also sort uh, the display period by looking at just last year, uh, last calendar year, last quarter, uh, you can look into the future. You can also set some custom a custom date range. Okay, off to the right, you can see a general summary. Now this is again odd because I have two different accounts here. So uh, my American West account and then my Gessner account. But you can see here previous balance, your current income for this month, management fees, etc. All right, so that's just an overview. Under reports, we've only got two in there right now, but you could run a rent roll uh, of your property. You just click on view and it'll pull up the current information and it explains what that report shows. Under bills, you can see bills that have been paid, not paid. Uh, you can see here the, the bill number, the date, the vendor, the building it applies to. So if you have more than one building, unit number, the status, whether it's paid, unpaid, approved, rejected, whatever. I think those are all paid. Uh, due dates, payment date, etc. If you want to see the details of a particular bill, then you can go into this orange menu here and view detail. And it's going to pull up the details of that particular bill. And you can see here more uh, detail on who it was to, what property, and so forth. And here is an attached copy of the actual invoice. You click on view and uh, it may pop up automatically or it may require you to download it and then open it. But here you can see an actual scanned copy of the invoice that matches that bill. All right, so anytime you have a bill, you should have a corresponding scanned copy of that document. Go under maintenance. This is a list of outstanding work orders. Uh, you can see that they're in open status and what's going on. You can change this to closed if you want to look at uh, work orders that have already been closed. Or you could look at all and it'll show you both open and closed work orders. And then finally we have documents. There are documents that pertain to your portfolio. These are things that belong to you. And see here is an insurance policy, some sprinkler notes, lead-based paint disclosure, etc. Underneath that, you have lease documents. These are documents pertaining to leases. Now, I have a lot of documents because we have a lot of different units. And of course, uh, there may be a, a lease for the same unit more than once. But So if you need a copy of your tenant's lease, they should be on here. And just so you know, we are trying to start a better naming convention so that they're more obvious what the document is. So put a date in there, what the document is, lease addendum for Eric Paul, and then the property address or unit address. 
Okay, so that's an overview of the old version. Going back to the new version, when you first log in, this is what you should see on the dashboard. So you've got kind of a summary of previous balance, current income, expenses, and your ending balance. There may be some extra stuff in there. So here's an available balance. You can make an owner contribution by clicking on this uh, spot here. And these are just some graphs that can show you income and expenses. Haven't really toyed around with this because it's kind of new. So that's the dashboard. If you look under my ledger, that will show a running ledger of income and expenses. Communication will show a community message, any alerts, you've got six unpaid bills, and then any running conversation. Obviously, I don't communicate with myself through the portal, so it's empty. Then under documents, we have statements. These are your owner statements for each month. And again, if it's a, an annual statement, you may need to look in, a, in an unusual spot uh, in order to find those by the way they're sorted. And then we have other documents. You've got lease agreement documents, uh, your portfolio documents, etc. Then uh, and we have reports. Again, it's just that rent roll. So it'll bring up current information showing all your vacant and occupied units with the lease information. Then we have uh, bills. Again, this will show you, uh, in this case, we're looking at paid bills. If you want to change what you're looking at, you would go to this filter symbol and you can filter it by bill date or payment date, has been paid or unpaid, and then your time period. And that'll change what you're seeing on this screen. And then finally, we have the maintenance. And again, here we're looking at open work orders. You could look at closed work orders, or you could look at all your work orders. If there are multiple pages, you can file through the slide through the pages this way. Again, you could switch between classic view and the current view, the modern view, uh, by using the link in the upper right. If you have any additional questions, feel free to give me a call, and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.